Hi everybody, welcome back. So this is going to be my first pour um, of the year for this channel. And um, I'm planning to uh, do a little bit of an experiment because I get a lot of questions um, through my Instagram uh, and as well as on YouTube uh, about how um, people's pores uh, get a bit muddy. And the, you know, the number one question is always about which colors to use and which colors don't brown or mud, uh, you know, get muddy as much. So I answer that a lot <laughs> and I have been doing so in the past year. So I am going to do a little bit of an experiment in this uh, video. And I have mixed up a bunch of, well, primary colors, red, green, blue. Um, of course, depending on the shade of green, blue, and yellow, uh, red you use, uh, you may get different effects. But I'm going to do this pour with primary colors as my top colors. I'm going to add some yellow as well to it. And a little bit of gold because it makes everything better. <laughs> The base that I'm going to use is um, on one um, canvas. I'm going to use a black base. Uh, on the second canvas, I'm going to use this sort of uh, a beige-like uh, base. Basically, it's unbleached titanium uh, white. And the third canvas I'm going to use is a white base. So that's also kind of like an experiment to see the same colors how they react differently in different colored bases. Now, this is a wood canvas. It's called um, uh, cradle board uh, if you are abroad. And here um, in India, it's a little bit harder to get, but you, you can find it if you look. Um, you may not get as good a quality uh, as uh, you get them abroad in the US and all, but um, but, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm trying it for the first time over here. I've used it a lot in the US. Uh, so let's see how, how this goes. I plan to resin these pieces. So that is why I'm uh, using this uh, board, um, wood cradle board, uh, wood canvas or, um, you know, cradle board, whichever one uh, you want to call it. And um, it didn't look like it came primed. So it didn't say in the packaging. So what I've done is I've just given it a layer of uh, gesso, just to be sure. So I'm gonna do a Dutch pour. All my colors are mixed with uh, just paint and water, I eyeball. But if you wanna see the ratios, you can check out my video number 36, which I'll put in the description below. All the colors will be in the description below. So no need to keep track, just enjoy the process and let's do this. So here goes the black. And I stretch it quite thin. I don't um, use um, too much paint. You can wear gloves. I mean, black is horrendous sometimes. But I, I don't like to wear gloves when I'm painting with acrylics. I do so much of resin and um, uh, now I've started doing a, a fluid art with um, alcohol ink that I do use my gloves there and a respirator. But I like the freedom of not using it um, when I'm doing acrylic works even though a lot of people do, and they suggest it's safer. Um, so you could use gloves. And black is a little bit of a hard color to, um, to get off your hands. Okay, I have just mixed these colors, so I'm gonna give it a run with the blue torch. So I see some more bubbles. Now, a blowtorch, you can just buy a culinary blowtorch. Uh, it's just, it doesn't have to, like this is quite, I always have to regulate the speed of this. 
but um, and it's by a company called uh, Zart, I think Z, Z um, or Z as you would say abroad Z H A R T. Um, but you can just buy you know any kind of uh, blowtorch. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer the colors, guys. Um, and I'm going to layer them um, a couple of times because I'd like the blue to react with the red and the yellow to react with the green and uh, so on and so forth. So uh, I might do a couple of those layers, but let's start with one first, blow it out, see how it looks, and then we do the others. Okay, I think let's start with yellow on black. I think it'll look really, really cool. Uh, let's go with a line like that, maybe. Okay. Uh, let's do red on top of that because I already have green and if I do blue on top of the yellow, I might make more green. Now, let's go with blue now. Let's go with green. And maybe let's go with a little bit of yellow again on top of that. And I think the only colors that did mix was the green, but I don't want to put too much green on that. But I think all of the colors are reacting. Now, I do have some gold mixed up, so I'm going to add some of that gold. That looks good. I mean, in, on the canvas, it's looking good. So let's go. You can put a little bit less color than this, but um, even this much will work. Just getting some of the base color down. And don't overwork the hair dryer, you know? Work it as, as less as possible. Sometimes you have to do it a couple of times, but try to avoid it as much as possible. And on the low setting, I have this hair dryer. This is a new one. I have my old one also that works very well. Um, but always this uh, attachment, the nozzle attachment helps a lot. This is called, I think it's called an air diffuser um, or a nozzle, I don't know. So, uh, or a concentrator, air concentrator. So try to buy one with this. Now, at this point, you could go over with a blowtorch because you've added some of the top colors. And if you've had your colors mixed in for a long time, you don't need to do this again and again. Um, I just, I usually mix my colors just before the pour, like 10 minutes before. That's good. There's a little bit of color over here and I could go down with it, although I do love the composition that's happening. I think I'm gonna stop. Love the, the purplish, purplish blue that that has made. I'm loving this composition, uh, so I don't want to overwork it too much. 
Now let's torch it. So that one I had done a composition like this. So this one I'm going to do this way. So again, let's start with the yellow, trying to keep the colors as close to the same, uh, just because it's an experiment and you guys may, um, you guys can see how the different colors on different bases work. Okay. There we go. I think I had used the red after that. Then the blue. Green. Now, thalo blue and thalo green go just superbly together. And then maybe a little bit of yellow again, I think I had used. Okay. Bit of gold, gold magic. Let's get the white in. Again, you can torch it. A lot of the color has fallen off, <laughs> but it's okay. We have plenty of colors going on here. Hair dryer is a little bit less power than the other one I have. So a little bit busier than that one, but I kind of like it. Um, a lot of the cells are forming at the corners. And I'm just going to blow right here. little messy so I'm gonna add a, this is how I fix it I'm gonna add a little bit of white and blow it again you can even do this with a dryer but you just have to be careful Use the blow torch. A lot of tiny cells popping up. Just keep moving your blow torch because you don't want to burn one place. I think that's it sprinkle of cells which will grow a little bit just gonna clean this up a little there. I've just used three or four colors and the gold of course but it's amazing how many colors this has 
okay let's do this beige one so the cup they're coming like this so this one I, I have a feeling that I might do a U let's try that can't hurt I can even do a puddle pour and blow it out let's do that let's do a little off-centered puddle pour there's the yellow going with the red again blue green I like that I mean there's a lot of variation in our experiment and also the bases are three different colors believe it or not um, in terms of brands also the colors are also different but the brands are also different and I think what didn't I use oh um, yeah that's about it and then the gold So I'm going to come everywhere. Okay. Let's get some base color. I like this base color. It's a Liquitex color. It's called Unbleached Titanium, I think. All right. And maybe since the heavier part is going like that, I'll blow it out like that. So let's see. fan of the composition here but the colors are amazing okay let's try to move it a little further at least on one side let's see what happens okay that's good Colors are so vivid in this. It is just stunning. Amazing. Okay. I think it goes a little better. A lot of negative space, negative space, but it's all right. I mean, I could scrape this and, eh, actually, let's, let's torch this. I think the cells will be just amazing on this one. Yeah, it's just popping up like anything. Just gorgeous. Line is bothering me. The colors are amazing. Okay. No, I don't like what I did there. So I'm going to work on it a little bit, but everything else is stunning. So another thing I do sometimes 
is just if you don't like it you know you can definitely re rework it just very lightly but i'm trying not to do my hair dryer too many times okay and just give it a once over That's it. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Just stunning. The composition is beautiful. I don't know if it goes with them, but the color is matte, so they all look good together. Uh, but this composition is just stunning okay guys so here is the well we can start with the last one the white i mean i can't even tell you how many colors i'm seeing in this beautiful cells look at that like this burgundies and browns that I didn't even add. Now this one, I love the composition. It's just so different. And look at these, just gorgeous. And then the first one we did, the black. You can see it's a bit more subtle um, in terms of the composition, but the colors are quite vibrant on this. A lot of lacing and little cells there. So that's your three beautiful paintings I think it was a good experiment and you can see that it didn't become much muddy because of the primary colors used and I think uh, even on the three different bases the colors look very nice so I hope you guys agree and uh, do like and do subscribe to my channel if you're here for the first time um, otherwise, come on, uh, head on back for uh, the next one uh, that I'll get uh, going on very soon and I'll post. So see you next time, guys. Have a nice day. Bye.